You're a wizard, Harry. Wow. <laughs> What's that you've got, Hagrid? Oh, it's a uh, flesh-eating slug repellent. What is your favourite prop uh, from the, the films? Uh, or it could be a costume, something you wore, something you saw. Uh, mine would be the, the lion house, Luna's lion house, because I think that what the best thing about playing Luna is that you, when you're wearing her clothes, they're kind of the clothes that no one would wear, you know, in their right mind. So you have to, you get out of yourself, you know, you, you're very free. And, um, and the lion hat was sort of that intensely, like, I can't care what anyone thinks of me, I'm wearing a lion on my head. I really like my suit. Draco was not one for casual um, dressing, and he seemed to be in a black suit 24-7, even, even to bed, I think, he wore it. So yeah, it was actually the first suit I ever had that fit me, so it was, uh, it's nice to, it was nice to have that. I felt very sharp in that, for sure. My favourite prop would be my dyed ginger hair for 10 years. Got you really into the character and kind of your friends knew when you were filming again. I'm going to go with the, the ginger hair, and it made us part of the Weasley gang, uh, so that was pretty cool to be a part of. Well, in the first episode of Potter, um, they, they explained to me that, that um, Hagrid wasn't actually allowed to do magic. They gave me a pink umbrella, which <laughs> Audrey Hepburn could have been carrying in 1952, you know, I'm about this size. I got to be a punk version of Adam Ant. It was the, uh, the leather jacket and having a holster with a wand in it. That's pretty cool. I was the only, was there anyone else have a holster? <laughs> Rock. Definitely having the wand, really. It's something that became very special uh, because you were only ever given it just before you were to do a scene. So, you know, you felt very special when you had it, and, and yeah, my wand is a, a definite favourite of mine. For me, at the end of Prisoner of Azkaban, when I say goodbye to Harry, I fold up the Marauder's Map, and the Marauder's Map folded up by a series of little invisible threads that happened on a two or three takes, and I just thought the creative aspects of the special effects designers on the film, that they didn't rely on it being a special effect, but they actually worked out a way of folding a map eight ways by pulling little threads. It had a very long white beard, which I, I would have my sausage and chips for lunch. And she wouldn't take the beard off, which annoyed me. I'd feed fried chips into my beard to annoy the makeup department. <laughs> I really would can talk about a moment of liberation to do with my costume because it was an irritating costume to wear and underneath I started off wearing tights and the gusset of the tights kept dropping down between my thighs and this made it very difficult to walk with any kind of dignity so eventually I said to my dresser a lovely young man called Neil I said you're going to have to cut these tights and I'm going to have to have garters um, at the top, and sometimes when the stunt team are getting too macho, I would tease them with my inner thigh. 